Welcome to our session on understanding the crucial mitigation techniques used to secure the enterprise. In this lesson, we'll explore various strategies from segmentation to hardening techniques. Segmentation involves dividing a network into smaller parts to control access and reduce the attack surface. This can prevent lateral movement of threats across the network. An example is using VLANs to segregate departments within a company, ensuring that a breach in one area doesn't compromise the entire network. Access control lists are used to control what users or systems can access specific resources. They're essential in enforcing network security policies. For example, an access control list can restrict access to sensitive files, allowing only authorized personnel to view or edit them. Application allow lists restrict systems to run only pre-approved software, preventing the execution of unauthorized or malicious programs. Patching refers to the process of updating software to fix vulnerabilities. Encryption is vital for protecting sensitive data both at rest and in transit. It ensures that even if data is intercepted or accessed by unauthorized parties, it remains unreadable. The principle of least privilege ensures that users and systems have only the necessary access rights. For instance, restricting admin privileges to only those who need them. Decommissioning involves safely removing and disposing of outdated systems and data. Proper decommissioning prevents sensitive data from being exposed. An example is the secure wiping of hard drives in retired servers. System hardening involves securing a system by reducing its vulnerability surface. Encryption is a cornerstone of hardening techniques. It secures data by converting it into an unreadable format for unauthorized users. Encrypting hard drives on laptops, for example, can protect sensitive data in case of physical theft. Installing endpoint protection software is essential to detect and respond to malware and other threats. Similarly, host-based firewalls control incoming and outgoing network traffic based on an applied rule set, offering an additional layer of security. Host-based intrusion prevention systems monitor and analyze system activities for malicious behavior. They actively protect against threats by detecting and blocking potentially harmful activity. Disabling unused ports and protocols reduces the attack surface. Changing default passwords is a basic yet crucial step in securing systems against unauthorized access. For example, ensuring that all network devices have unique, strong passwords. In conclusion, employing a range of mitigation techniques from network segmentation to system hardening is vital in protecting against various cybersecurity threats. Implementing these measures helps in creating a robust and resilient security posture for enterprises.